Hey guys and girls, you're here with Vince. Uh, I just did some video of the Vista Bridge here. We're here at Suicide Bridge in Portland, Oregon. I just did some video underneath of it. And I'm up top here, just shooting some stuff. And uh, it's just kind of a weird area up here. <laughs> See a lot of homeless, some, just a lot of homeless people around here and just people kind of walking around and kind of like zombie-ish. <laughs> Anyways, we're on top of Suicide Bridge, Vista Bridge. There goes a bus right by. I came up on this one little area right here. If you see, there's just like a little, um, um, what do you call it? Just like a little teeny mini courtyard right here when you first come up to the bridge. Um, I'm kind of right on top of everything. <laughs> and I'm just actually zoomed all the way out. Um, yeah, once again, I'm, I actually have a better video and stuff on my new phone, but it's a new phone. Basically, it's smarter than I am, so I still haven't figured out a lot of things on it, how to send pictures over, um, and the video especially. So I'm just using my digital cam that I've done ton tons of paranormal ghost stuff with. Uh, it works really great, actually. It's 720 HD. You know, it is what it is. It's pretty good. Anyways, I came up on this little uh, kind of broken uh, pylon here, and it says, leave a note right there. You can't really see it, but it has writing. It says, leave a note. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Uh, Anyways, uh, this is one of the hobbies of mine. I love the paranormal stuff. And uh, once again, this is Vista Bridge, P Portland, Oregon, uh, up top of it. Um, known as Suicide Bridge, AKA, some people call it the killing machine. Um, it's really hard to really see any kind of, uh, you know, I showed you the bottom parts uh, where you see the arch, the main look of the bridge. It really isn't a whole lot to look at up here, except just a road. Um, so anyways, that's just the courtyard area over there in my backpack. Um, I probably was just gonna put my backpack on my around my arm because uh, I have rest of my ghost gear in there, and it would suck for someone to just grab it when I'm not looking. Anyway, this is underneath the Vista Bridge right here. It's um, way down there. It's not like the greatest shot. It's, it's not the most attractive place up here. <laughs> Anyways, you see a good shot of that screen right there. Um, the high, uh, it's just a high angled fence they put up there. I did that about a year ago to keep people from jumping off. Um, like I said, I just, about 16 people have took their lives off this bridge. Um, I guess it's just one of them easy places to jump from. I don't know. Um, but that fence right there goes all the way down on both sides. Um, it's kind of an odd bridge. You probably won't see very many bridges with that kind of fencing like that on there. It's a safety fence. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to walk down the bridge here. It's just going to be noisy with all the cars and stuff. Uh, you know, I can't do any voice recordings here, really anything paranormal other than pictures and video, because it's just so damn noisy. Um, I'll have to come up here during the during the nighttime, actually, maybe, and do some stuff, maybe shoot some pictures and get some, maybe some good orbs. Um, but I still think it's going to be too noisy to even do EVPs up here, voice recordings. So, anyways, let's get out of this kind of boring look here against the fence, and let me walk down the bridge. And you know, it's just basically a road over the bridge. It doesn't really look like much from up here. Um, Here's a plaque right here anyways, I'll show you guys. It says the Vista, uh, Vista Avenue Viaduct, 1925, and it has the city commissioner's names on it, and that's about really all it has on the, the plaque. Um, someone left an old towel there, and uh, there's a lot of homeless people around here, you know, but they're, they're everywhere, you know. Anyway, that's the left side of the bridge. Um, this is called Southwest Vista Avenue. So here we go. And there's a sign right there. It says, we can help you cross this bridge. Call 1-800-SUICIDE. <laughs> so obviously a lot of people, um, and here's a crisis line right here for it. Obviously a lot of people have walked across this bridge probably really down and out in their life and never made it to the other side, unfortunately, if you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna take a walk down it. And um, I'll try to get some shots over here off the hill here. We're way up in the air, obviously. Um, I don't know, probably a few hundred feet from the ground, a couple hundred feet, something like that. Um, there's a bus stop right here. So anyway, here's the fencing that you'll see, that curved high fence. The fence is probably about, I don't know, 10, 12 feet. I'm six foot. It's another four feet over my head, so I say it's 10 foot. Um, and this is it. Like I said, there ain't a whole lot to it, except just a lot of fence and sidewalk. But this is Suicide Bridge I'm on. Um, I'll give you an idea of how far down it looks like. If I can get a good shot through the fence here. It's... Okay, there's a shot to the road right there. Um, I'm always zoomed out, so you can kind of get an idea of how high this thing really is to the ground. There's the cars. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. 
because it's making it look like it's a mile down when it's really only probably a few hundred feet. That's the area I just came from actually right there. I shot, you know, the, the main the main pictures of the the full look of the bridge from down there. Obviously you can't really see what it looks like from up here. It's just a damn road. So anyways, um sorry some of these uh video isn't the best shots guys, but anyways it's sun's hitting me a little bit here. So it's back to the bridge here. I just want to give you an idea of it's a long ways down, put it that way. You're not gonna feel any pain if you jump from here. <laughs> so just people walking down the bridge. Uh, another shot here. I'm almost actually at the center of the bridge. I don't know how many feet it is long. It's, I don't know. I'm not very great at measuring distance. I don't know, I'd say it's several hundred feet across for sure. Um, here's a better shot right here. The train tracks, way down there. So yeah, it's a, um, there's a better shot at the way out here at the Portland Hills. Actually, that's towards waterfront. If you keep going straight that way, that runs into the Willamette River that way. Um, and there's actually the Goose Hollow Max stop is right down there. There you see the cars. To the right is the Max tracks. So, anyways, back up top here. Let me zoom back out. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to this place, guys. Um, I do have like some ghost apps on my phone. It's pretty silly. A couple silly apps. I don't know how legit they are, but um, I got some really weird words up here. I have an app that throws words out, apparently what the spirits may be saying or trying to tell you. And I got words like history, heavy, automobile, um, unhappy. It's kind of an interesting word for up here um, with my ghost app. It's unhappy. <laughs> um, there's a lot of the a lot of the fencing that's it i mean that's all you're gonna see is this curved 10-foot fence all the way down on both sides there's a shot way out to the left here it's a friday afternoon it's october 10th we just recently had a blood moon i think everybody knows about that um so yeah this is pretty much it this is the vista bridge aka suicide uh bridge killing machine <laughs> it's kind of creepy and morbid but you know it is what it is when you're in a paranormal field, you kind of get, you know, I go to, used to go to graveyards a lot, you know, I mean, that's where the spirits are, you know, where people have perished, so. And we're coming down the other end of the bridge here. And I'll probably shoot one more, um, I'll shoot one more video coming up the other side to the left over here. And it's just the same. It's just an, a re, it's like an instant replay of what I just videoed when I first got here. You know, it's just these little courtyard things. Um, and of course, there's houses all right here on top of the bridge, basically. I mean, there you go. There's another little courtyard thing. Same sign on this end. So anyways, I'm doing some thorough video of the place. You know, hope you guys like it. It's not the best video, but I enjoy what I do. It's a hobby of mine. I don't make money at it, unfortunately because I'd be working triple overtime if I did, so, because I love doing it, so. Anyways, but here we go. We're gonna head over to the other side here. Um, I'm gonna make sure I watch what I'm doing so I'm not a casualty up here crossing the street. So anyways, my video's about to run out here, guys. It's gonna be about 40 seconds left. There are like nine minutes, 37 second clips. So I'm gonna cross over right now while I have uh, no cars here. And we'll start down over here on the other end, basically. There's a reward for a lost cat, that sign. It's Teddy the lost cat. Poor cat. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a little crazy, guys, I know. I try to make my videos fun, though. I'm not too damn boring. Um, most of you know I like to talk a lot. Damn coffee. Portland's full of coffee shops every corner almost, so. There's a shot way down there. There's actually people sleeping and camped out down there. I'll get another shot there. 